I want to spend a few minutes talking to you about cells and specifically about five components that all cells have. Now, before I can really get started on this topic, I need to make sure we're very clear that there are two types of cells, well, that we are going to discuss right now. There are prokaryotic cells. These have no nucleus. Then there are eukaryotic cells. These have a nucleus. Now, a nucleus is a membrane-bound region within the cell where the DNA is held and also some other proteins and um, bits of RNA. But I want you to focus on the nucleus or not for right this minute. So when you see pro, this actually means before. And when you see you, that means true. So eukaryotic cells have a true nucleus. Prokaryotic cells are before the nucleus, and hopefully that will make it a little bit easier to keep in mind, or to keep straight in your mind. So when we are talking about these two types of cells, there are five components that it doesn't matter if you're a prokaryotic organism or a eukaryotic organism, you will have these five components within your cells. And the first one, and this to me is the most obvious, is you have to have a cell membrane. A cell membrane, remember, is a phospholipid or a phospholipid bilayer. And this is what holds the contents of the cell in. It controls what goes in and comes out of the cell. It's a wonderfully complex um, system, and we'll talk about it later. Now, within this membrane, you have to have somewhere for organelles, or those little organs, little pieces inside of a cell to sit. Otherwise, they're just all going to settle down here in the bottom of the cell like a whole bunch of junk and look something like this. And the poor cell would just never be able to do anything because all of its pieces would just be piled up down here in the bottom of this empty sack like a baggie. Thankfully for cells, that is not the case. Oops, went too far. Thankfully for cells, that is not the case. Cells have a filler inside. It is a jelly-like substance called the cytoplasm. Now, the cytoplasm is not just simply an amorphous gel. The cytoplasm has a specific chemistry. It is absolutely vital to the cell survival. So don't just write it off as, oh, it's just some jelly junk. It provides support. It's the site for very important chemical reactions. We'll be discussing some of those a little bit later in the semester. So now we have a sack of goo. Well, in order for this to be a cell and not just a sack of goo, it has to be a living organism. Remember, some organisms are only a single cell. And what do all living organisms have to have? They must have DNA. They must have genetic material. So we're going to give our cell a nice piece of DNA. And we are now to three components that every cell must have. In addition to DNA, you will have RNA, which copies small pieces of DNA and takes that code that's in the DNA, takes the information, and will go and make proteins with it. So all cells must be able to make proteins, must have some way to take that information that is locked up in the DNA, to take those important pieces and to make something with them. And what, where does this RNA go in order to make something? It goes to these tiny organelles, these tiny cell parts that are called ribosomes. And we will spend plenty of time on ribosomes in a week or so. For right now, just remember that they are an organelle that takes the information from the RNA and helps make a protein. So if you can remember that to be a living organism, 
you must have cells and a cell can't just be goo by itself or just an empty bag you need a bag of goo so you need a membrane to contain the bag which is your bag you need the cytoplasm which is we're going to call your goo and within that to be alive you have to have your genetic material which means your DNA and your RNA and you must have some way to use that genetic material and your ribosomes are going to make that possible so very quickly here are your five components that every cell must have the cell membrane the cytoplasm the DNA the RNA and the ribosomes all of these are your necessary components that every cell whether it's eukaryotic or prokaryotic must have